This is Floss TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to Tea Time, where we bring you the biggest stories and interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with Ewa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Oshokaye. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Oh, I'm good. I'm all right. So, are you sure? Mm. Ewa, why are you just nodding? <laughs> I'm good. I'm all right. Are you sure? Mm. Mm. You don't look all right. Are you sure? I'm all right. You look fair. So, for me, I'll do it. For diamond drink. Can I be your nerd? Mm. Oh, yes. Moving Baby. on. <laughs> Daddy Dad says he's not living his best life. Hmm. Um, I mean, there were plenty of tweets. He's basically saying that whenever he travels out of the country, mm. he realizes the level of uh, decadence in Nigeria. Anyway, it's. Did you pull out the dictionary? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm done actually, Fe. Continue. Over to you. Um, well, I think um, Nigeria is the best place to even live your best life, if you ask me. Because mm. um, No, you feel you're living your best life until, until you, you step out. Yeah. Until you step Not last time we use the word sure, because you're even sure it will look like, because you just crossed the border. I'm yeah. telling you. That's when you know you're Well, I, I, I agree though, but um, I still believe that Nigeria is the best place to live your best life. If you, you are saying, because there things are better, they have better infrastructures, better mm. roads, better this, better um, places to go have fun and all that. Mm. But I think a lot of people still want to come back home. When you make that money, when you are rich in Nigeria, you can actually do anything. Okay. So there's okay. a difference between no place like home and we are suffering at home. No, I think um, of I, no, according no, to Don Jazzy, to Don Jazzy, he's saying that when he sees people suffering you and yeah, you don't even want to spend your yeah, money around them. carelessly yeah. you get what i mean but over there when everybody's okay you get you can spend your money mm. how you like and nobody's looking at you funny but out here the moment you start spending money that's when you start getting text messages bro sabe, you feel i mean people will start you. saying instead of why are you buying gold chain instead of you to give money out for and charity the you know as well i, I understand where don jazz is coming from but you should come back home and let's build him together. <laughs> he can't run he's away. He's yeah. Really away. He's mm. just, I, I think he is with um, Rema for this. Um, mm, tour, uh, tour, London. Tour. Mm. So he's basically working. That is in Nigeria. No, Nigeria will get better very soon. Hmm. Mm. And Rema is killing it. Big shout out to him. Mm. 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 So. I bet they're living their best life wherever they are. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, not best life. I think it's just it's speaking for, for the right voiceless. Mm. I mean, even in the, in Nigeria, Don Jazzy cannot say he's not living no, his best life. No, he can't life. say that because even when you have this money and you know that there are things you shouldn't bother yourself about, about mm. you having to be your own um, power provider. Mm. are thinking of your inverter has to be on this level. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, regardless of your status mm. in the in at least in Lagos State, the rain on Saturday, some people were swimming with their car. They know themselves, mm. Mm. <laughs> you know. So it, you you cannot remove yourself from the equation when we start talking about um, the issues in the country, especially when you think you have money. It does. In fact, that's where you realize that you can't even enjoy your money. There are some and cars you can't even drive. And that's why I, I think my electrical is too bad now because my window has refused to come up. <laughs> <laughs> so. And that's why um, I appreciate like some rich people in the society when mm. there's like a problem. Let's say, for example, in the street, they mm. have like transformer issue. Instead mm. of them um, buying a very big mechanogen to power their own house, mm. they would buy transformer for the whole community and that way they can enjoy the light and every other person is enjoying it. Mm. Some people too, to if they... have that type of money. I want to see if you're actually going to do these things. Well, I will. Cause, you will? Mm. So... I grew up in an environment where I know that there are a lot of people here. Uh, the area I grew up, if there's something wrong in the community... Everybody comes together. Yeah, even sometimes one person will just decide to do it. And when something else is wrong, another person will decide to do it. And I that way... There should be a time like that in Nigeria, but I think people no, just give is. up. They're serious, they're serious, actually. No, there's this road um, just right out outside the office mm. that leads to the one popular estate mm. like that. Have you seen the road? <laughs> for those Sometimes people, you can be arrested for um, repairing the road, right? Oh. Yeah, that, that's true though. So that's another one. Anyway, well. we have a guest, but quickly before we introduce our guest, um, Regina Daniels gushes over her husband. He says, she says he's her baby, you mean? Her baby. 
Did you watch the I did full watch interview? The, video. Mm. So, 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 the full interview. Was, yeah. 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 I think they sat down for the full interview. Did you watch wow. the full interview? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the real <laughs> MVP. Ah, uh, so minute. Something. Yeah, and uh, they're about to talk how about how they it? met. How did they meet, please? Please tell us. I think she said they just met and they got married in three weeks. Oh, so, wow. yeah, they fell in love. Aww. Love is a beautiful thing, you know. Jazz again. <laughs> 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 I think he just came out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Well, big shout out to um, I don't know, I don't know how. Big shout out to Regina that, that, Daniel, just yes, complete it she now. She called the, um, that old man baby, and it was also blushy like. But you know uh, when you're um, when you're in a relation, a romantic relationship with any the man, yeah, anymore. they just become your baby. Um, Man, if ha, you're my yeah, baby. Yeah, that's the way I'm your baby. Mm. Eh? Age don't count. At all. No <laughs> matter, you're my age, man. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as old as Ned. I'm happy that she's happy. So mm. that's all that matters, regardless of what anybody thinks. Do you and be happy? Um, let's go for a very quick break, but when we come back, we'll introduce our guests. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Alibaba. Right now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. A Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from <laughs> Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Our guest on this episode is a Nigerian fast rising actress with a great passion for film, theatre, and television. She's a graduate of applied geophysics from the University of Port Harcourt. She worked in different capacities in the oil and gas industry and then went on to acquire a diploma in acting from the New York Film Academy to kickstart her career as a thespian. She has featured in various movies such as Green White Green, Idemuza, Nigerian Prince, Damaged, Power of One, Daddy's Girl, Behind the Smile. Before Before, Lucy, and many more. She's also a professional model who has graced runways and featured in a number of commercials from, tel from telecommunication um, to hair brands. Let's make welcome a pageant queen, the smart, sexy, and resourceful Christabel Gordy. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. Good to have you. Okay. You see that I got that hand that day. Okay? You said that it was not like that. Please do it again so that you'll see it. Are you seeing it? Are you learning? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it. Don't do it. <laughs> Moving on. Tell the difference. I think I'm going to ask just one question. And oh, okay. I'll let Ife do the drilling. <laughs> so, okay. the, I mean, if I don't ask this question, I won't be doing justice to myself. My goodness. The okay. news about you fighting on set and being a lesbian and <laughs> slapping your... Biting. You know, biting and slapping <laughs> and, and I mean, you know, box. so when you're Googled, that's the first thing that would pop up. Sadly so. Yeah, so what was going on? Are you a lesbian? Are you a fighter? How did that resolve? I'm not I heard you were suspended, so. Okay, I'm none of the above. Mm -hmm. I'm neither a lesbian <laughs> nor a fighter. Okay. Um, fighter in the sense of being violent okay. or physical, but I'm a fighter, I mean, mm -hmm. I fight for, I'm purpose driven, I'm passion driven, so I'm definitely a fighter. Uh, so to answer your question, mm -hmm. I'm not a violent person, mm -hmm. I'm not a lesbian, never been, I don't intend to be, <laughs> <laughs> and um, about the ban, it's funny because um, you cannot be banned when you do not belong to a body. Mm. It's like saying that your mom is punishing me or my mom is punishing you. You're not her child. The best she can do is caution you in love and probably seek the authority that's above you mm. or that, you know, that's, that acts like your guardian or something. So when I heard about the ban, it was as funny as it sounded. Um, I still give them the honor of visiting them. That's, I'm talking about Ibn Abo now. 
I visited her against all instructions to ignore. Mm -hmm. Because one, I've never been a member of the guild. I don't hold an AGN card. I've been a freelance actor. AGN has never been there to protect me, even as a body actor. Mm -hmm. So um, out of the blue, friends woke me up to the news saying, oh, you've been banned and all of that. So I was dealing with too much at the same time. But regardless, I summoned the strength to go and find her in Surulere in the office at the time with my lawyer. And um, we just wanted to give her the respect, like I said, because at the time she was the president, president. of the guild. Oh, in quotes. Yeah. I see. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at the time she was the president. And um, so on reaching there, long story short, because I really don't like to dwell on this. Mm -hmm. That's not what I'm mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have a promising career and I've done quite a number of... Okay, but did you slap princess? There was a fight. Well, no, what I'm not going to deny tell that. Tell us, tell us okay? what happened. There was a what fight, led to but fight? it takes two to fight. Mm. So how there's a ban, and then the ban is just on one person. Mm -hmm. Aren't you guys asking questions? Aren't what led to the wondering? fight? That's the question. Two people argued on a set. About? About roles. Mm. Okay. Okay, she, not that you were disturbing our phone calls with your girl. Come on, <laughs> see, come on. People just... Uh, okay, so... Um, there are a lot of things going on in the industry, okay? People, and I was, I always say this, I grew up to learn this, it's, I'm still growing, it's a process. And I have come to learn that the world doesn't belong to simple people. Mm -hmm. So you come in, you are innocent, you are naive, you're trying to be open to everybody. People do not, especially in the industry, people are not that friendly. So people are, desperate for either fame or relevance or whatever it is they're pursuing and they are willing to paint whatever story because we all know that it's not the good deeds that sell, you know, mm. it's the controversies and all of that. So her claim as to whatever led to the fight is how is her um, story, but we all know that there are several sides to the story, right? She came to, on board to replace someone who had been filming alongside with me as my younger sister. Mm -hmm. And for whatever reason, she thought she deserved to play my role as the older sister. Maybe she felt she was older or whatever, but we kept having some misunderstandings as we shared the room. I mean, this is a girl like, she came in with an injury. I helped her clean that injury on two occasions. Okay, I know we don't have time to uh, go on and on exactly. with this, but what's the situation of things now? Are you still banned? Uh, have you settled? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was yeah. AGN, so we can move to other things to do, like you right. said. Emeka Ike was... lifted that ban, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Emeka Ike came, came in and said, I'm not a member of the guild. That is a ridiculous um, and um, even step to, to take. Um, Fibre Sima as a dictator. Well, I'm not in the guild, so <laughs> I can't say. But I mean, like, he came on board and didn't understand why that should happen. Mm -hmm. And he also said, he also thought that it took two people to fight. I mean, you know, it was a fight. So why was I the only one allegedly banned? And then he also said it was like likened to the same jungle justice we were all fighting against. So he mm. called off the. Bad, which right. didn't even have an effect anyway from the beginning because I'd been, I mean, I was intrigued the way you had accurate lists. I mean, yeah. you were mentioning all mm -hmm. the films that had, you know, been so on. the band from 2016 till now. I've been on all mm -hmm. these different, so it didn't affect you negatively, yeah, at all. At all. No, no, no. Well, in terms of losing jobs, no. Um, what would be the negative effect you had? Um, if you have to think about it, then let's say it's not. Actually, no. <laughs> yeah. okay, right, so. when it, just, yeah. Let's go to your acting Thanks. career now. Mm. <laughs> when did you start acting? Um, officially in 2016. I came into Lagos late in 2015. Had my first audition. Actually, my second audition. And I got the role of um, Maggie in Green, White, Green. Okay. My, f my first was in... Um, my first audition as I arrived in Lagos was um, the one, Jennifer's Diary. But when I got called to film, I wasn't in town. I had mm. gone to Port Harcourt to see my family. So when I came back, I heard about the next audition. I attended. I was so, <laughs> I don't know, like I went really late because the crowd was so much. From the gates, I just had my shades on with my hair. This is like my trademark, you know. So I just walked through the gate. 
Thankfully, one of the organizers of, I mean, like the people who were coordinating the crowd just walked up to me and said, oh, have you been auditioned? I'm like, no, I just got here. So he handed me a script. I went in, I read, and that was it. I got the role of, of uh, Maggie in Green, White, Green, and it's been an amazing journey from there. Hmm. Okay, so um, people say Christabel with a great body, and you always <laughs> agree to that. And I want to ask, would you play any role, I mean, that has to do with you exposing your body in a movie? Oh, well, as an actor, your ability to play, assume different characters mm. and show your versatility is a plus. So it's always an opportunity for me to sell myself. I look forward to the next challenging role, interesting role, whatever. And yes, not just because I have a body to flaunt, <laughs> but because there's a story to, to tell. tell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My last, one of my most recent films, I actually... Um, filmed in an underwear almost oh. throughout. It's a series. Wait for it. Okay. <laughs> so you were in the oil and gas um, sector for a long time before yes. you started doing um, movies. So I'm trying to um, fathom how one can leave oil and gas for movies. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know? you know, I, I, I can't fathom it, so just tell me. I get that a lot, but the, the movie industry is also a gold mine. Mm -hmm. And it's just funny that people still want to underrate actors. I was reading something by a writer early on, and uh, she said, oh, um, I've been working my ass out, I haven't slept in days, and then someone comes and tells me, oh, because I'm not a doctor or a lawyer, I'm not working hard enough. Film is hard work. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons I resigned was because film can be challenging. And back then, I used to take a lot of excuses leaves you know i'll say oh, i'm sick my mom is sick my cat's mom's grandma died <laughs> you know because i have to film and when we were filming in demoza i was in Oshobo for about a month so i can't marry the two to get mm. movie is demanding you need time to get your lines you need time to get into character and all of that as much as i missed your physics and the oil money <laughs> i'm enjoying my new life so, in comparison to the oil money and the movie money, which would you say is better? Hmm. Which is more? Why are you doing this? Oil money. We're talking oil money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there's money in film, though. I we know. just haven't gotten there yet. But yeah, mm. but which is, which has been more lucrative for you? So far, I was definitely ending well while I was doing my oil and gas thing so this the is passion. a passion thing mm. this is a passion thing so it gets to a point where your passion pays you and i'll mm. get there mm. okay, okay. So um and any projects coming up definitely you don't want to talk spin? about it the series yeah i guess wait, wait. the series we're done mm. Mm. and it's something you would love trust me give um, us a plot the director, What's about? the director is jay franklin and uh, it was an amazing moment mm. i got kidnapped Oh. And then I got streets, you hmm. know, blah, 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 blah. Just hold on. <laughs> Did they show you getting stripped? Hmm? Did they show you getting stripped and all of that I was, in the movie? I was in underwear all throughout the first Throughout season. the first, oh, okay. Yeah. So, no, it's because of looking for No, no, that's not what I mean. It's because she asked you about the challenging mm. roles and if you would mm. do that. So I wanted to see maybe what the thing that mm. is just, come on, mm. don't be like, you. don't be like that. <laughs> that's 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 okay, so, uh, and the, and the industry. Okay, so, uh, sorry. Okay. So in the industry, would you say that, I think you touched on it earlier, but what do you think about the way you people work together and the kind of love you show to each other? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's a common practice, I think, with everywhere else. I'm referring to my time in the oil and gas industry. Mm -hmm. you, know, you had people, you had friends you could confide in, mm -hmm. you know, be it your superiors or, you know, your mates, Colleague. you know, people like on your level and all of that. You also had the people who love to compete, not mm. the kind of healthy competition, but they see you as a rival, mm. you know. So it's the same thing basically everywhere. So you have your clique, you have people you relate to properly, but I don't have cliques. Mm -hmm. I belong to everybody and nobody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the best way to survive the industry. Okay. So you know, I think you've never suffered the issue of fake love and somebody not, you know, somebody pretending to be your friend and then you hear that, oh, they said this about me, they said Forget this. the cameras. It would be unnatural to tell you that I haven't suffered that. I think every human being has. Mm -hmm. Every human being has. 
So, okay, yeah. is there anybody you look up to in the industry? Yes and no. <laughs> How? Okay, so um, when the incident happened and I was reading comments and saying actions, I was like, wow. There were some people that growing up, I used to watch them, you know, and you'd be like, wow, she has this kind of opinion even without, you know. So you're like, oh, okay. So um, I will not say I look up to people. So in terms of, um, I mean, if it has to do with anything outside of acting, you know, definitely when it's, it has to do with acting and the progresses they have made, I certainly have a couple of people that I admire. You want to mention mm. names? Um, I love Kate Henshaw. Okay. Mm. I love Gem V. I call her Gem V. I don't know, but she does no wrong by me. Like, I love her. Okay. Gem V. Mm -hmm. And we can tell, you know, her story so far. All right, and um, we need to wrap up. <coughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank and, you. Um, you can join the conversation, like I always say, by using the hashtag Tea Time on social media or Twitter at us at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always go to my co anchors if you watch okay yeah and ewa we too and the entire production team and of course our guest christabel thank you for being here my name is elsie godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later <music>